The Law of Attraction. I remember a few years ago reading this book here, The Secret. And then I remember putting it down and thinking, what a pile of rubbish. And I read a load of other books as well. And I tried to make this work for me, but it wouldn't work until I used one technique. And this technique allowed me to get the home of my dreams, buy my own boat, be able to actually, I recently got asked to be a shark on Shark Tank, some of you may know. Um, those of you who don't know what Shark Tank is, it's the America, American version of Dragon's Den. And a lot of other things started manifesting in my life. By the way, if you're into like manifestation and stuff and energy, this thing, salt crystal, amazing for getting rid of negative energy. Very important to know how to control, manage your space and your environment, what you feed into your mind. By the way, this thing here is crucial. What you feed into your mind, the words, the affirmations, right? This all contributes towards your manifestation. And this, by the way, while we're talking about sleep patterns, is very powerful to get you into deep sleep. So when you are manifesting and thinking about the right things, it starts manifesting in your, in your life, right? Check out this view, by the way. It is absolutely beautiful, even on a gloomy day, okay? So, guys, what we're going to do... Okay, coming and manifesting this one into my life. <laughs> Thank you, babe. Thank you. There's my green juice. Mwah. Okay, so while we enjoy, some of you may think this looks a bit odd. Um, I remember when I was getting into health, I was thinking, you know, this looks not very tasty. But in fact, it's very, very good for you. Um, having the right greens in place. We're going to go through it here. I just wanted you to check out the view. This is what I wake up to every single morning, by the way. Beautiful, right? We'll put this down. And by the way, I don't know if you guys are into watches. This stuff, you know, I was into for a long time. Didn't know how to get it. These are like 30, you know, what? AP 30K, Patek Philippe, I don't know, 30K, 10K. This is my treasure. Anyway, so we're going to get into it. But before we do so, we got a show reel. Are you ready? Hit it. What's up guys? Welcome to Spiritual Sundays. Really excited for today's episode talking about the law of attraction and how you can use this sleep technique to start manifesting your desires and everything you want in life. Guys, this is Eric o here, international speaker, entrepreneur and best-selling author. And through the years, I've been doing a lot of work traveling around the world, speaking in front of thousands and thousands of people on different topics of business, of success, of mindset, and very recently been uncovering a lot of stuff on spirituality. And the reason behind that is because a lot of people start realizing that there's a shift in consciousness happening right now and people are becoming more aware that there is something so powerful as this universe where we can actually start manifesting, right? Now the thing is this, a lot of people I find believe in the law of attraction Right? They believe in manifestation, they believe in karma, they believe in all of this stuff, but it's not exactly working out for them right now. There's certain things they think about, they're trying to manifest, they put vision boards up there, they do visualization, and if you're like me, I tried all of these things. And then I was thinking, I don't think this is actually working. I mean, it's making me feel a little bit better about myself, I guess, a little bit more positive, but I'm not really manifesting, let's say, wealth or materials or love or any of this stuff. I'm not really attracting the right things. And I was always wondering why. Now, there's a lot of parts to it, but specifically in this video, what we want to talk about is about sleeping, like before you go to bed, why it's so crucial to get this right. And when I got this right, this is when everything in my life starts to fall in place, right? Understand this. First of all, our life is governed 95% by our subconscious mind. What does this mean? It means that when we consciously think, if you're consciously thinking right now, I want to manifest um, a, a Lamborghini, I want to manifest a yacht, I want to manifest all these things, it's really not going to contribute too much because that's only 5% because you're consciously thinking about it. The power is held with your subconscious mind. 
What if you could subconsciously think of these things? And why it's so important what you do before sleep is because what you watch, what you listen to, what you think about before bed, it carries on through that, whether it's six hours, seven hours, eight hours, however many hours you sleep, it carries on in your subconscious mind. That's your subconscious flow, your subconscious manifestation and attraction happening while you are sleeping. That's why it's very important before bed to have the right practices, to have the mind in the calmest place to attract what you want to attract in life. So let's get down to it. What do we do before bed? Well, first of all, the first thing is we need to make sure that our mind is calm. I want you to look at this for a second. Everything around us every single day, right? Our minds processes 11 million pieces of information every second. For those 11 million pieces of information every second, right? Only 40 of them we're actually conscious about. So even right now, we're aware of a lot of things happening and our brain is capturing all of this stuff. Now think about that, multiplied by the whole day and the whole week, our mind is going like crazy. And that's in the subconscious level, we're manifesting all the things that we want, we don't want, most likely we don't want, right? And so, how do we actually do this? There's some things that I do, whether it's breathing, right? You can practice square breathing. By the way, if you're into like any like breathing techniques or you want me to share this stuff with you, just comment below. I've been asking this quite a few times the last few videos, you know, whether it's on business, whether it's on franchising, Facebook marketing, whatever it is you like, right? If it's on breathing, okay, because today's Spiritual Sunday, if it's on breathing, just comment below breathing and then I can share with you some breathing techniques that really help you de-stress and calm that mind, okay? so. Um, breathing is the core fundamental of calming that mind. So we calm that mind, okay? And when you calm that mind, it gets rid of all of the noise, right, inside that subconscious mind. So we calm it. And then once we've calmed it, what's most important to know what you are going to put into your mind at that point. Now, definitely do not, do not watch any like horror movie or any, in fact, you shouldn't be on, you shouldn't be watching TV or scrolling on Facebook or scrolling on social media or using your phone. You shouldn't be doing this stuff because this is not good, especially before you go to sleep, right? Because you are consuming, think about every scroll, all of those millions of pieces of information is going into your subconscious mind just before bed. So you're manifesting everybody else's problems as well, okay? So cut that out uh, at least like an hour, an hour, two hours before, cut all of that stuff out. And you just want to be in the calmest place. Now, I know some of you will be thinking, Eric, but you know, I'm very busy with work and everything. But the thing is this, do you want the shortcut or not, right? If you want the shortcut, if you want to get to your success, you want to get to your destination faster, make little sacrifices, right? It may seem big right now, but it's very little in comparison if you get your result very quickly. So calm that mind, get rid of all that tech stuff before bed, don't watch movies before bed. Then what? The next thing is you need to understand what to actually put into your mind at that point. So a very powerful thing to actually do is a visualization process. But I want to actually run you through something that's actually more powerful than what most people talk about because a lot of people just talk about, okay, visual, visualize, think about it. And, and people don't even know what to think about, how should I think about it? There's, there's a special thing that you have to put in place. And that special thing is emotion. Always understand in every area, whether it's in the physical world, whether it's in the spiritual world, emotion is energy in motion. The moment you apply emotion to a thought, what happens is it speeds up the whole process and it takes the energy out there in motion and it starts manifesting. If you don't attach emotion to thought, there will be no manifestation process. And this is the thing that people never teach you about, is that emotion is a very key jigsaw piece to actually make this whole puzzle work for you. So, what you do is this, just close your eyes before bed, and then you just wanna think about as is. These are the key words here, as is. So you wanna think about your dreams as if it's happening already, right now. Right? So you just keep thinking about it and you want to keep asking this question. This is what's going to pull the emotion out of you. Why? The question, why? So you keep asking, why is it that I wanted this right now? I want it because it'll make me feel good. Why? Because I want to feel like I've accomplished something. Why? Because 
is just amazing, the feeling, right? And dig down into the feeling. When you dig down into the feeling, that's how feelings, thoughts, these things start kicking off the manifestation process. Now, the great thing is this, if you notice before bed, what usually happens is this, you, you, you're falling asleep, you're falling asleep, you're falling asleep, then what happens is you're kind of a little bit like, a little, it feels a little bit like dreamy, drowsy, like people can speak to you and you kind of forget some of the things because it's just logging in that subconscious mind. That's when you're going from conscious to subconscious. And so if you fall asleep on that basis while thinking about being able to touch, being able to feel the car you want, the house you want, being able to put yourself in that situation and keep asking yourself why and how does this make me feel? Keep asking yourself these two questions and the emotions will really blow up. Then when you fall asleep on that, that conscious plugs into the subconscious and the subconscious manifests through that sleep cycle and it's the most powerful thing you could ever try. Now I know some of you will be thinking, Eric, but does this really work? Look, I thought the exact same thing um, around six, seven years back, right? And everything you've seen at the beginning of this video, I started to manifest, right? And I started looking at it and I started to think, actually, by teaching this method to other people, right? Nobody actually has anything to lose. You don't lose anything from trying. You might think, but this sounds quite stupid. Think it's stupid, it's fine. I was thinking exactly the same thing. I thought, this sounds stupid, but you know what? I got nothing to lose. Let's try it anyway. What if it does work? What if it really does work for us? Guys, all I can say, it's worked out for me. It's worked out for millions of people all around the world. The question is, are you going to take action and make it work for you? Guys, remember to hit the like button if you enjoyed this video. Make sure to comment below. Let us know where you've tuned in from or anything else you want me to cover on the next videos. Comment below and make sure, do remember, remember, remember to hit the subscribe button and the notifications button next to it so that you get updated every single day with different inspiration, motivation and techniques to take your this year to the next level. And that's it for now.